So quite often when I'm working inside of a file in NeoVim, I want to find symbols, which are kind of like an outline for the current document. So watch this here. If I open up this picker for symbols, this is based on Telescope and an extension to Telescope that adds in COC support. So COC is the LSP that I use as my language server client. And so I need to integrate that then with Telescope to be able to find symbols. And you can see here down at the bottom, I've now got a picker. And if I want to look at classes in the current file, I could just type in class. Maybe I want to look at methods, so I could put a method then, variable. Whatever symbol I'm interested in, I could narrow down, focus on that, and then maybe classes if I'm interested in that. Over on the right-hand side, as I step through, I get a little preview. And then when I find something I like, I can jump right to that. And that takes me right to the class that I'm interested in. So that's just one of the pickers that are available. And I've got a shortcut here set up to show the pickers. These are all the different options you have for pickers. So it's a list or a picker of pickers. And I just looked at the symbols option, document symbols. There's also workspace symbols, or maybe I wanna look at diagnostics for the current file. I can do that as well. Lots of them in here. This is a big project. Let me come over to something a bit smaller. So if I open up the picker for diagnostics for this file, you can see there's only one. I can jump right to that issue, jumps me right to that line. There's even a picker in here that you can pick for the actions that you want to apply. So if I want, I can grab the line code actions for this line that I'm sitting on. You can see I have some choices here for how to deal with this. Of course, if I come up here and maybe add in a new variable, do foo equals bar here. So I have another diagnostic in this case. If I look at that, you can see now there's two in here. I can pick the one that's up above now. Now if I do the code actions here, go with the line here. So I could mark this foo as defined globally. Basically, I have the same options that I'd have here if I invoke the actions right in line, which I kind of prefer in this case just to show it as a little pop-up menu. But basically taking the same options and putting them then in a picker that's based on telescope and putting that down below. Of course, actually, you can define that picker to be floating as well. If you've ever used telescope, I've got some pickers here that pop up in the middle, even a search picker that looks like this. And so if I come over to my configuration, here's how I set this plugin up. So first up, add this repo here as a plugin. And then when you're configuring it, make sure you load that extension to Telescope. And then once you've done that, there are some options you can specify up here in my Telescope config. Got some options right here. I have the theme turned on for Ivy, which was recommended. That puts the pickers down on the bottom. If I comment this out though, save that, come back over here and just, and just restart NeoVim. Now, if I invoke a picker like diagnostics, now you can see this pops up right in the middle of the screen. It's a floating window, same list of options. And I have a preview over on the right, a bit bigger in this case. So it just depends on your personal preferences. I kind of like having it on the bottom because if you're using COC, you actually have a picker for some of these things built in. For example, if I want to find this function here, you can see down below, this is actually a similar picker. At the very bottom here, I have the references for the code that I had the cursor on up here. So these are the other spots where this is used. I can step through this. I get a little preview up above that then. And of course, then if I double click on one of these, it jumps to that particular spot. So anyways, that's why I like the picker on the bottom because I'm already used to looking down to find most of this. So I'll set that theme again here and I'll restart. And if I do this again, now you can see I got the picker on the bottom. All right, and then as far as options are concerned, there is a timeout you can set. You'll wanna bump this up if you work with large projects, like I had PyTorch over on another screen. Wow, that thing is big. It can take a long time to find the references, so bump that up if it's not finding them within the default of three seconds. And then the next thing I recommend here, you can set up some key maps. In my case, I set up my leader key plus L to pop open the picker of pickers, and I picked L because of LSP. So that brings up the picker of pickers here that then when I click on one of these, will open up the picker that that references. So that's the top level one. And then off of that, I branch a few other pickers like LS here for symbols, workspace symbols with LWS, LD for the diagnostics, LWD for the workspace diagnostics. You can even do the references like I just showed you a moment ago. I was sitting on this function right here. So I have that COC picker that looks like that or I can use the new picker here. And I like this, it just spaces things out a little bit better. A lot of the time when I've used this picker, sometimes I get confused where one document ends and the other one begins, because it's like having three files stacked on top of each other. And yeah, I think that's good for right now. If you use COC and you use Telescope, why don't you marry the two together, use this extension to glue the two together and get the best of both worlds.